Hi everyone, welcome back to England Scotland TV. Uh, I'm Conor McLennan, the fly I'm going to be tying for you is the LKK, it's a sea trout fly. Um, it's a wee concoction that I came up with um, a couple of seasons ago for early in the season, but I wait to get down into some of those deeper holes early in the season in the spring. Um, it's a great fly, it's wor working well for me up until now, so I'm not going to stop using it. Um, fairly complex tie but when you follow step by step you'll get the hang of it eventually. Um, to start off with the hook I'm using it's a RX um, NS150 traditional shrimp hook. The reason I'd, I've used other hooks and this fly with a bit of weight on it getting down um, don't seem to get as many good hookups using a sort of stinger or streamer type hook generally. Um, having that little bend at the end of the hook there really just helps set the hook, especially when you hook some of these fish in deeper water, fishing in um, sort of die three and intermediate lines. The beads, um, typically always using black beads, just seem to work better. I've tried using silver beads, gold beads um, on this fly, just doesn't seem to, to work as well. Um, black, black beads all the time. Um, so the first material I'm going to tie in is the part of the tail, which is orange, Senyo's laser dubbing, fluorescent orange. Really good material, long fibres, really long fibre dubbing. So just twist some strands together, pull it, keep twisting it together. Uh, I like it, not too dense quite sparse but you're wanting that trailing maybe about an inch and a half, two inches off the, the end of the hook there. So I'll just catch that in. The thread I'm using is just black um, sheer 14 0 thread. Doesn't really matter what thread you use if it's black or brown. It's strong and doesn't break too easy. So you can see that that material there, it's got a nice bit of UV through it there as well. I don't know if you can see it, but UV colours are always always key. Good see trout flies. Especially in the springtime. A lot of natural UV penetrating into the water as the, the days get lighter and lighter. The next material I'm using is ripple ice fibre like I used in the last video, but this time it's kind of peacock colour. But I love using this material. Some people might think I use it too often in the amount of flies that I use it in, but it's a good material. Again, as soon as the UV light hits it, it just fluoresces. So, not that much. Just bring off a couple of little strands at the end of it. Now, next thing I want to do is get some nice thin but strong nylon. Stuff I'm using here is um, Jackson Eternum. Really, really strong for a low diameter nylon and I'll use this to catch in the hackle that we're going to be tying in shortly. Now, the next step is to tie in the hackle and the way we're going to tie this hackle in, rather than actually 
tie the, the hackle in later on here and palmer it up. We're going to tie it in by the tip here, tie it forward. So we'll tie it in by the tip here first, dub the body, wind the hackle down and then we'll just wind the nylon down through the hackle. The hackles I'm using is um, spay hackles, so it's kind of brown, nice brown colour here. Really, really nice movement and, and these sort of long fibre feathers. Great, great for sea trout. So I'm just removing some fluff from the stem first. Don't use hackle pliers very often. I just remove the fluff from the, the main part of the stem and, and just use my fingers, my own grip. So I'll tie the tip in here. Just then open turns just to catch it in. Trim the excess of it. And just secure it in. So next, we're using copper dubbing, and basically LKK is an abbreviation for laser cobber cutlin and cobber cutlin's uh, a name that you sort of hear regularly referenced in uh, Scandinavian fly patterns cobber mean, meaning copper um, there's a, a great little fly they use called the cobber basin which is a copper bully which is a really really good little sea trout fly great for using when Sea trout are feeding heavily on like gamorous and small shrimps, things like that. A very, very simple fly, but very, very effective. So we can be quite generous with our stubborn when we're putting it on. I like to get loads and loads on because later on what we do is we brush it all out. Quite dense. I'm going to be tying it in all the way right down to the eye. As I said, generous amounts. Just not using any wax because I want to be able to brush a lot of it out later on. The cop copper is always a good colour on sea trout flies. A lot of guys will tell you copper works really, really well when both clear and coloured water conditions. Particularly works well early in the season and in the, in the autumn as well. And then take our spay hack up and as we did with the, the spay bait fish, we just pull the fibres back together like so as we wind it around. You see all those fibres splaying out, how long they are, how, how much movement you're going to get out of the fly for those fibres. Catch the stock in down at the eye. Stocks are quite soft, so you wouldn't do any harm to your good scissors by cutting the stock. So 
So, splay the hackles out, get your nylon and just work it through the fibres like so. Going in the opposite direction of the way you tied the hackle in and it really just to catch it and keep it secure, not to palmer or push the, hack, uh, the fibres back in a sense. And it's really just a, it's not very imitative, um, it might look a little bit like a, a gobe or um, a little eel pout or something like that when it's down in the sand and down deep in amongst the rocks but um, it's just the profile and the movement I think is what strikes the fish and that bit of UV through the fly as well. It really works. So the next step is we get some more of our peacock um, ripple ice fibre. Just about the same amount as previously. I'm just kind of laying this over the top. Maybe a little bit more, just a little bit more to that. You're not wanting this to go as far back as the tip of the tail, you're only wanting it to sit about a couple of centimetres off the end of the tail there. That's maybe a little bit too much. Some of this excess here at the eye. Build the thread up over that. What you'll have noticed as well <coughs> is that I've set the eyes out a good three mil back from the eye of the hook there, the bead, sorry, um, and that's because we're going to be winding some dubbing onto the head of this fly as well. So the dubbing that goes onto the head of the fly is um, Salmo Supreme Rainbow Dubbing. And it's a good mixture of greens, reds, golds, um, Looks quite good under the UV light again. Okay, I'm quite generous with the amount I use. I go through lots and lots of this stuff. But it catches fish and that's what we're after. Of it. Again, dubbed on very loosely because I want to be able to brush it out. So I'll just get a little bit of varnish. A little bit. Just to catch that thread up. Now we just really, really brush this out. The 
don't worry if you catch some of these um, tackle fibres and twist any of them as you're looking round. So, as you can see, quite mobile, quite a lot of movement in the material. Very messy looking fly, I must say, but it's a fly that works really, really well and has a really, really nice profile to it. She trout love it, so fire ahead, get some tied up and get out there. Cheers.